If I was to tell you I'm cheating to be able to achieve this lovely profile on Evana Monowig, what would you think? You would probably say, well, Ted, you are wearing a wig, so you are obviously cheating already. But what if there's more to it? Should we find out? Let's have a look. <laughs> Just like that, she became a brunette. I hope you enjoyed watching that. And um, you, you might wonder, why am I going through such an extreme of wearing additional hair on under my wig? Surely the um, extra layer of hair would just add to the heat um, wig normally generates anyway but the reason I wanted to show you this guys on a more of a um, rounded shaped head is the potential Evana Mono has on someone with a different shaped head. I've seen this wig worn on many people, I've seen it worn on men and gosh they look just great. So if you do have a larger size head, you would really find this wig absolutely amazing. There is so much stretch to this cap. Anyone with who's struggling to find a, um, a larger size cap would find this Evana Mono absolutely amazing. Okay, so here is Evana Mono without my um, tricks of trade and um, enhancements. So this one is in color Moccacino LR and this is a um, ombre kind of effect um, of pale ash brown base with some honey blonde highlights. Let me guys show you the lace front. Um, I don't particularly think it's too bad with the knotting. Of course they are dark, but you can pluck some of those knots and some of those hair, hair out just to add a bit more of a natural appearance. If you wanted to, you can pull it off your face, perhaps add a few baby hairs around the parameter here, just to disguise that. Um, area where the um, lace front meets the cap so you can pull some baby hairs out and unfortunately with the size of this cap being um, quite big the ear tabs fall very low on me and I will not be able to have a comfortable ear tuck on this so um, it's one of those things um, unfortunately uh, for people like me with smaller heads, as you can see, it falls really down on the um, behind my ear. The features of Evana Mono include a monofilament top here. It's a double monofilament top, so it looks really natural when you part the hair. This is from the Amore collection, as opposed to your normal high fashion Evana with just side parting. In this case, you will be able to part the hair wherever you like. I choose to part my on the right hand side, hence the reason I went with Evana Mono. Now, she's been around for quite some time. Um, she's probably one of the original wigs with this beachy style, beachy wave style. You can also build quite a lot of volume in here. You don't necessarily have to have it lying flat. It is absolutely a wonderful style, but unfortunately, probably not for me because of the size of the cup. So the measurements of um, Evana Mono are 
9.75 inches in the front. We've got 11 and 3 quarters from the crown and 4.5 and at the nape. So it's pretty much one length as you can see. There isn't much layering to this style. Let me guys show you the cup construction and what she looks like from inside. Okay, so just to give you an idea, guys, normally for a cup that to achieve this lovely bump at the end, you would have a section here with lots of permatease allowing this style to be lifted and to give you that lovely little rounded effect at the crown. So as you can see, there isn't many permatees in this style. Here we've got this double mono top. It's really nice and soft to touch. Quite a long lace front here. It's quite hard to detach. It's not a soft lace front, but um, if you are wearing a wig grip um, or a wig cap, this shouldn't be an issue. So we've got the Velcro e tabs. As you can see, there is quite a lot of stretch in this cup. We've got a just a standard Velcro nape. It's not an extended nape. So uh, it's a very nice open wefted cup construction. So I think Vanna is one of those styles that um, you don't just put on your head and you will look great straight out of the box. I've heard many people comment about wanting to try a van and loving this style, but it's, um, it just didn't work. I think that's sometimes the case with uh, curly wigs. They do have the mind of their own, especially if they've been sitting in a box in a shop for a long time or in a, in a factory. So they do um, need a little bit of training. So in terms of um, what I do for products, for styles like this, I sometimes use this um, hair tip liquid. This synthetic hair feels very, very dry. So by applying a tiny little bit of this uh, product in your hands and then just spread it across and add a little bit of shine because those fibers are pretty much lacking in the shine as opposed to some wigs that they have and are very, very um, bright in the sunlight. So straight away, guys, you can see those fibers look much better with a little bit of product in. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to comment below. I will answer all of your questions and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.